Drone Maze Programming. The goal of this activity is to fly a drone from start to finish through a maze using a computer program. We'll use this classroom as a maze. Here's a map of the classroom. Each one of those squares represents a one foot by one foot tile on the floor. So there's our maze. Our goal is to fly from one doorway through the desks and tables to another doorway without crashing into anything using a computer code. Here are instructions for how to do that. You'll start outside the classroom in the center of a square. Notice that this map goes from a center of a square to a center of a square. First step is to move three squares ahead then turn right 90 degrees and move two squares ahead. Turn left 45 degrees. I think I get this. The next step, though, is to go a diagonal. And a diagonal is longer than moving straight ahead one square. More on that later. Here's the rest of the instructions. You can read through them and see that I'm right. And here's the path that you will follow. The good news is that we now have a path to get us from start to finish. The bad news is that a drone does not read English. It does, however, read a computer program. So let us translate from one language into another, and that can be done as follows. The first step again was to move ahead three squares. So we will have the mini drone take off and then fly ahead for a certain amount of time. We'll have the mini drone fly drone ahead for the time it takes to fly one square times three at 25% power. Everything is 25% power here. Next step. Turn right 90 degrees. Okay, we're turning right 90 degrees. Next step, move ahead two squares. Fly mini drone forward for the time it takes to fly one square times two. 25% power, very good. Now turn left 45 degrees. Look at that. We're rotating negative 45 degrees. I like it. Move ahead four diagonals. Ooh, move ahead four diagonals. The purple thing changed. We have the time to fly one diagonal now instead of the time to fly just one square. So we're almost ready to program the mini drone to fly through this maze. One more thing though, we need to find we need to find the time it takes for the drone to go one block. Find the time it takes for the drone to go one block. How are you going to do that? That's right with another computer program. This is the boringest program ever. All you do is take off, fly forward for three seconds, and then land. Why are we doing this? So we can measure the distance it travels in three seconds. Again, what, what do we want? We want the time it takes to go one block. And we're measuring the number of blocks it went in three seconds. So we can define a variable. That's what the purple things are. We're defining a variable, the variable of the distance it flew in three seconds. And when I did this, my drone flew nine blocks in those three seconds. And with that variable, we can define another variable. If the distance it flew in three seconds was nine blocks, then the time to fly one square is equal to three divided by nine. A little bit of thinking, I mean, this is math, a little bit of thinking, I think you'll see that I'm right. And then we have the time to fly one diagonal again. A diagonal is longer than a square. A diagonal is the square root of two times the length of one square. So we will define another variable. And now we can write a computer code to have the drone fly through this path. Let's see if it works. Ah, the agony of defeat. Hey, you think you could do better? You think you could do better? Well, I think you could do better also. Obviously, my program needs a little bit of tweaking, but it's your turn now. So get a map of the classroom. Create your own path through the classroom, your own path from one door to another door through the classroom. Write out instructions in English. Translate those into a computer code. Fly your drone, and let's see it.